Hello one and all, my name is Rio and welcome back to another match day preview. So tomorrow Chester FC hosts Alfredton Town at home in the Vanuama National League and it's been 25 days since we last played in the league so uh, we're finally back in league action tomorrow following a good 2-1 win against Witten Albion on Tuesday night so we'll be hoping to make it 8 league games unbeaten so hopefully you will so of course. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. You can also comment down your uh, score predictions below. So let's get into today's match day preview right now. So it has been a couple of days since the last is my Blues news feature and there has been a lot going on at our football club. So first of all, uh, on Tuesday, Matthew Walls as he uh, returned to Chester FC following his month-long loan spell at Runcorn Tower. He played a few a uh, few matches for them so uh, hopefully he's returned fitter and fresher and hopefully he can be able to push into our first team because uh, we have got a few players out injured still so yeah he was out on the loan uh, uh, at Runcorn Town for a month so uh, he has returned now and hopefully he'll be able to be uh, playing a few more matches for us this season because he is a young player, he is a young lad and he is a decent talent and not only say he can be a really good player so uh, it'd be nice to see him back one day so hopefully he'll be playing very soon so and also there's so been a few more transfer stories so first of all Dan Mooney well on Tuesday before our game against Ritten Albion uh, well Dan Mooney well he's currently on out on loan uh, at Chester FC from Fleetwood Town for six months so uh, he's currently on loan until January but because he's been playing so well this season he has been one of our standout performers he has played amazingly well for us he's I've been really impressed with him he scored quite a few goals for us and also he's really good on the ball really uh, really direct play he's pacey and uh, he's gave a lot of opposi uh, opposition opposition defences nightmares this season. So, uh, well, anyway, he's extended his loan spot until the end of the season. So, uh, we're really uh, we're really look lucky now because we've actually kept him until the end of the season. And uh, must thank Fleetwood Town for that because uh, they've also been uh, sending a, sending a few of their club officials out to our matches lately, and they've been impressed with him. And also. Uh, well, he has been out on loan here. He has actually played a few uh, matches for Fleetwood uh, in the first team he's played uh, in the Checker Trade Trophy against Leicester under 21 the other week and uh, he's also played in a couple of reserve fixtures. So, yeah, Dan Mooney's a really good player for us and I'm really delighted to see him uh, extend his loan spell here and hopefully we can expect more of the same because, uh, as I said, he's a really good player on the ball and also he scored a lot of goals for us. So, yeah, delighted for that, and also uh, hopefully he can play tomorrow as well because he has been one of our key def uh, key wingers. So uh, it's be also been another news story today because uh, early on this afternoon we signed a player from Salford City on loan for a month for striker. His name is Manny Dizavuri. So uh, pol apologies if I couldn't pronounce it right, but uh, we signed him on loan from uh, Salford City for a month. So uh, of course Ma Matty Hughes he is out injured for a couple of months there. Uh, it was actually last night he had his surgery because he's got an ACL injury. So uh, you should know, uh, you know, you all know how you know if you if you have had an ACL problem before, you know how bad it is. I haven't personally, but I do believe it is really bad. So yeah, he's out for a couple of months at least. But I do believe um, he might be uh, he may be able to uh, return to training in the next month or so. So that is really good news for us. Uh, he said that on Twitter last night. So really happy that. Uh, but also we, uh, he will be um, out injured for couple of weeks so yeah for the time being we have signed Manny Dies of Riri so uh, from uh, from Salford so yeah she'll be a decent player we have got a, uh, got a lot of experience at football league clubs he's played for Chesterfield, Mansfield, uh, Fleetwood Town and also he's played for Kidderminster, Harriers and Boston United in non-league so uh, he should be a decent player but I hope he is amongst the goals because uh, they've only got Dean Smalley, uh, Ewan Murray and um, Anthony Dudley who, who are our only recognisable striker so we have boosted that uh, position up so yeah looking forward to seeing him in action tomorrow against Salfordton where uh, we did score against him for, uh, for Salford last season so it should be a decent play for us hope he, hopefully, uh, hopefully he does get off the mark for us tomorrow and it should be a decent signing so uh, other than that that is the, all the uh, transfer news but also there has been uh, stuff going on off the pitch so uh, so there is a, like a um, uh, so yeah, of course, uh, during the summer we, um, you know, we launched our season ticket campaign where uh, we sold over a thousand season tickets. So our support has been tremendous this season. We have managed to get uh, near the two thousand mark, but we'll be hoping to uh, get over that tomorrow because 
our attendances of late, they have been a bit frustrating. They have been like 1,700 there, 1,800. And they haven't got over that 2,000 mark, despite us, uh, not losing a single game at home this season. So uh, we'll be hoping that our, that our crowds will be on the up this season. So uh, to help do that, we have launched a Sester Intent uh, campaign where... Uh, um, so yeah, if you do buy a ticket, then you can uh, you can have access to it. You can pick. Uh, so basically, um, if you didn't buy a season ticket and you haven't got uh, you haven't got um, you have got a few money problems, then you can buy a Sester and Ten voucher, which enables you to pick any ten home league games from now until the end of the season. So uh, this offer will be valid until the end of the season, where obviously you can pick any ten games uh, where you can get a discount on them, so you can get. Uh, if you are uh, aged uh, between 5 and 17, then you can get a voucher as for as little as tw uh, 20, uh, 20 pounds. So that's really cheap for you. And also, if you are an adult, then you can get a ticket on the Harry McNally Terrace for only 105 pounds. So you are saving a lot of money, and this ticket does enable you to pick, uh, from, you know, from now until the end of the season, 10 matches. So uh, I do, uh, I do recommend it for you because if you weren't set, unable to uh, buy a season ticket, then you can buy this uh, really good offer, and it uh, it can also uh, bring you some really good offers where you can get discount for the Legends Lounge. You can meet the players, you know, you can meet the managers, you can go to training sessions. So yeah, it's a really good offer, and I do recommend it for you. So uh, yeah, it's a uh, good thing, a uh, good initiative for our football club, which will generate even more money. So uh, just to explain it once more, you can um, you can choose uh, any ten games uh, from now until the end of the season with that voucher, and you can just display it at the turnstile. Then you can uh, go into the match, and yeah, so it is a decent offer, and uh, I do recommend it for you. So uh, yeah, that is all the news really. Um, it's not not much really more to talk to you about but uh, we have signed a player today and, uh, who shall be playing tomorrow so yeah that is the latest new, uh, blues news in the past couple of days. Alfred and Town will be making a journey from Derbyshire having, made, uh, having had a mixed start to the season uh, during the summer they had a complete overhaul at the club because uh, last year they did struggle a bit they only finished in the lower half of the table I think they finished about 17th so uh, not too great from their behalf because they are a uh, club who have spent a few years in the conference beforehand. So uh, during the summer, they had a clean slate, as I said before. Uh, they appointed a new manager, Billy Heath, who who was actually close to being our manager at some uh, one stage during the uh, recruitment process. But uh, thankfully, we've got Burn and John now, who are doing a really good job, and they really do hope that we can, uh, you know, we can keep them for a few years at least. So yeah, they got Billy Heath, uh, who who's got a tradition of uh, playing a, a tough style of football. Uh, you know, uh, he's always built a, a decent, solid team. Uh, and you know at any club he's been at Halifax North Ferriby and uh, he, you know uh, he likes to hoof it up to a target man so uh, yeah they've got Billy Heath in the summer who is a good manager he has got uh, North Ferriby and Halifax out of this league uh, over the last few years so he's got a good uh, record at this level and uh, he signed a few good players uh, the likes of Richard Pinnickett and uh, uh, Harry, Mid Harry Middleton both players who yeah, who who plays for him before his previous clubs, and also Tom Denton, who was uh, one of their key players at the start of the season. He started out the year quite well. Uh, Halifax, especially, he was a good player there. Uh, you know, he had a, a big, he had a, he uh, he made a big impact there. Where uh, he scored a lot of, a, a lot of goals from last season. He is a big man. He's about uh, I'd say about six foot four. So he's a big target man. Really experienced around these, uh, uh, you know, in these shores, and uh, he's a good player. But uh, however, two weeks ago we left. Uh, he left Alfreton to join uh, Chesterfield, where Martin now lives, because uh, Chesterfield they lost uh, one or two of their key players after uh, a difficult start to the uh, National League. So uh, Tom Desmond he left Alfreton, so that was a big blow for them, and uh, they replaced him with uh, two players. So. Um, Firstly, they signed Craig Hobson a couple of weeks ago from Ashton United, another team in this league who we're actually playing on Tuesday night at home, another winnable game. So uh, they signed Craig Hobson, who is a, uh, a familiar uh, a familiar face at the Swans Way Chester Stadium because in 2014 to uh, 2016 he had a spell here uh, where he scored uh, quite a few goals. So he didn't score too many goals, but still uh, he was a decent player. He did hold the ball really well and he was a good header with the ball. And also he scored against Wrexham and beat them 2-1 home so uh, he will gain my respect tomorrow and I hope he does get a good reception because although we didn't score too many goals uh, he was st he's still put in a lot of effort for us and I uh, do hope he does get a good reception so yeah Craig Carlson uh, he will be making a return tomorrow and he did sign for Alfredson a couple of weeks ago so he'll be expected to start tomorrow so it'll uh, be interesting to see how he does play and also uh, massive signing for them during the week and I think they signed him on Tuesday uh, Reece Deitch so uh, they signed another player from uh, Darlington, it was Reece Deitch, who 
is another really good player at this level. He scored a lot of goals for Darlington, and I, I do believe they are in a bit of financial jeopardy. So uh, they've had to offload one or two players to free up some money and uh, restart one of their best players and one of the best players in this league. To be honest, he signed for Alfredson, so uh, he's another good uh, good replacement for Tom Denson. So uh, yeah, they have uh, they have had a bit of a mixed start. So uh, they did start off the season really well. They were in the playoff at one stage and. Uh, they did start the season off with a few wins, but as uh, you know, re uh, the recent form isn't too great. They have picked up a couple of wins in the cups lately. They, uh, they have got through to the FA Cup first round, where they will be playing against Fleetwood Town in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, but uh, in the league, they have uh, they have won uh, for a few games now, so they have uh, dropped down to 13th. So they are mid table now. So uh, you know, from their perspective, they will be hoping to uh, improve their form a little bit. But uh, hopefully, we can make it another win tomorrow at home because we are unbeaten at home. So. Uh, it will be a tough game tomorrow. We all know what Billy Hughes uh, teams are like. We know what his style of play is. And he will be hoping to uh, stop our uh, flowing passing football tomorrow. But it is our job to uh, you know, um, frustrate them as well. And we, uh, we shall be looking to get another win tomorrow. So, uh, yes, it will be a uh, tough game for us. They will be, uh, you know, they will be, they are a good team, Alfredson. But still, uh, it is a winnable game for us. So, yeah, looking forward to it now. It should be a good game. And also, uh, um, you know, despite us losing in the FA Cup the other week, we are still seven matches unbeaten in the league so uh, you know it should be a good game tomorrow we'll be hoping to make it a, you know we'll be hoping to attract the big crowd to hopefully get over that 2000 mark we have uh, you know we have got a few we have had a few campaigns going on over the last week or so so we are hoping to attract more supporters and uh, it will be good if we can make it uh, you know over the 2000 mark tomorrow but the main thing is if we do get the three points and that will be great for us because we still have two games in hand so We've got a really busy schedule coming up now. We've got five matches in the next two weeks, so we have got a busy schedule. But if we can get at least 12 points out of a possible 15, then that'll be fantastic for us because we have got the non and the New York games to come up next to our rearrange. And if we do win, then we can uh, we can go as high as second. So, hey, how things do change, eh? So, yeah, I can't wait for tomorrow. It should be a really good game. Really looking forward to it. So hopefully we can uh, make it another win. We have got a good record against Alfreton head to head. So, uh, first of all, in October 2013, beat them one nil away, and I've looked everywhere, uh, you know, on YouTube and on the internet. As, uh, unfortunately, can't find any goals in that match. So, uh, you know, uh, I do apologise. That's no fault of mine, but I can't find any goals in that game. But still, we beat them away one nil in 2013. So, uh, that was a really good result for us at the time. Later on that season, we lost 1-0 at home to Alfredton on the 15th of March 2014. And uh, Again, they looked everywhere and they can't find any goals in that match. So, uh, again, do apologise. No fault of mine, but I can't find any goals in that match. But, yeah, we lost 1-0 at home to Alfredton in the reverse fixture. In the following season, we beat Alfredton 2-1 at home on the 18th of October in the National League. And I finally managed to... Uh, Get, uh, get all the goals in that game so uh, they, they will be coming up in a few moments time so yeah it was a good win for us at the time we uh, that was our highest ever finish since before and we finished 12th in the National League that season so it was a solid season for us so uh, yeah here are the goals in that match <laughs>
finally, our most recent meeting with Alton was in, two, uh, in 2015. We drew one all away and we took a good, uh, a good following that day. So, yeah, I got both of the goals in that match as well. So, here they, uh, here they are right now. So as I say, Alfredton's form isn't too spectacular. So first of all, they beat Sutton Coalfield Town 3-0 at home in the FA Cup second round uh, qualifying round replay. So uh, not a bad result for them. After that, they lost 1-0 at home to Bradford Park Avenue AFC back in the Vanuama National League North before beating Mickelover Sports away 2-1 in the third round of the FA Cup qualifiers. After that, they, uh, they lost away at um, Altrincham 2-1 in the National League North. And finally, last Saturday, uh, they beat St Neots Town 4-0 at home in the FA Cup 4th qualifying round to book their place in the first round proper. So, yeah, of course, they will be playing at home against Fleetwood Town in a couple of weeks' time. So, uh, that's a good draw for them. I think it'll be on the BBC final score. So, they will be getting a lot of money for that too. And if, if they do win, then they will receive lots of prize money. So, I hope they do well in that competition. But, of course, I do hope they don't do well tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, the, the form isn't too great, so we, mu we must capitalise on that tomorrow because our form it is good, uh, it's quite good to be honest at home, especially. Our current form is quite good to be honest. So, on the 22nd of September, we beat City Liverpool 4 0 at home in the FA Cup second qualifying round before drawing 0 0 away at Chorley in the uh, National League North. After that, we beat Hereford FC 3 0 at home the following Tuesday before losing 4 3 away at Dunstan UTX in the FA Cup third qualifying round, so sadly we got knocked out of it. And also, uh, finally, on Tuesday night, uh, Tuesday night, we beat Witten Albion 2 on at home in the Cheshire Senior Cup preliminary round, so I uh, booked our place in the uh, first round, which will take place in January, so that's a while away yet, so we've got a lot of games to, uh, to play for, first of all, and I will let you know in due course, whenever the draw is, I don't know when it is personally, but uh, whenever it is the draw from the next round, the Cheshire Cup, I will let you know. Alfredson have got quite a few good players in that team. Got the likes of Harry Middleton, uh, we actually signed this week, but have uh, decided to pick my key player for them. So his name was Richard Pennicott. So uh, yeah, we have played for a lot of clubs during his career, so I'll break it down as quickly as I can. So uh, firstly, uh, you know, we started off his career at Fulham in the Premier League, where unfortunately he didn't make an appearance there, but uh, he had loan spells at the likes of AFC Telford United. Kidderminster Harriers, Hereford United as they were known at the time and also Farnborough and uh, so yeah after that he left Fulham and he joined um, Tamworth and also after that he uh, signed for FC Halifax Town before having another loan spell at AFC Telford United. Uh, last year he signed for Gates where he scored I think it was six goals in 40 games so still not too great but of course when he uh, when he wasn't alone at all those clubs I listed before he did score quite a couple uh, quite a few goals to them so he has got a decent scoring record and of course finally uh, during the summer of this year he signed for Alfredson Alfred Town where he is right now so uh, prior to that he did have a spell at uh, Billy Heath's FC Halifax Town where he was a manager there but uh, now of course Billy Heath he is at Alfredson so uh, he, he decided to bring Richard Pennicott with him there so uh, he will be a threat for them tomorrow I do believe he has scored a few goals from this season I uh, think he scored a really good goal away at Altrincham the other week where they lost 3-1. So, uh, yeah, he is a good play for them and he will be uh, one to look out for tomorrow. But still, uh, with him being a forward, you just don't know who will start tomorrow because they've got uh, Craig Hobson, uh, you know, Rhys Deitch now and also they've got Rich, uh, Richard Pennicott. So, uh, you know, they have got a decent squad up there and it will be interesting to see who plays them tomorrow. But, uh, you know, if Richard does play for them, then... He will be one to look out for tomorrow. The likes of you know uh, Simon Grant, John Moran, who, uh, Steve House, whoever plays in defence was tomorrow. Uh, you know they must be on their guard to watch out. Richard Pennicott. Just like any game, tomorrow's game will be really tough for us. But still, uh, we are quite a few places above them, five point, uh, places above them. So yeah, it is. Uh, it's a really winnable game for us, and we have got a big, a busy schedule coming up. We have got five matches in the next two weeks, four which are at home. So. Uh, we must continue to turn the Diva Stadium into a fortress because we are unbeaten and we must continue this because, uh, as I say, we've got uh, Alfreton at home tomorrow, Ashton on Tuesday, then, uh, of course, in a couple of weeks' time, we've got Nuneaton at home and also 
Um, after that, we got Ultrangum in the Cheshire Derby. So, yeah, got a lot of games coming up thick and fast. But hopefully we can, you know, make it at least 12 points out of 15 possible. So, yeah, I can't wait for tomorrow. Hopefully we can make it another win, which should see us bounce back into the playoffs. Because we are falling down a couple of places. No fault of ours because, uh, as I say, it's been 25 days since we last played the league game. So, it's been almost a month, to be honest. So, <laughs> yeah, it has been a while. But hopefully we can, you know, bounce back in style tomorrow. So, yeah, it should be a great game tomorrow. Really can't wait for it now hopefully we can pack out uh, pack, uh, pack out the swans way and uh, make sure if you are watching this video get down there if you're not uh, so yeah hope you enjoyed the video so uh, yeah uh, my score prediction i think it'll be chester fc2 alfredson town one and i think uh, anthony dudley and dan mooney will score for chester and i think reese dykes will score for uh for alfredson so uh yeah we have signed a new player today manny dice the Ray. so he might be uh, he might get a late cameo tomorrow if we are to win or something like that. So yeah, we signed him on loan from Salford today. He is a striker, so again he could be intentional to score. But uh, I do think we will win two goals to one. So it will be a tough game. Well, I do predict it to be a scrappy affair, but still, as long as we get the win, that all it's all that matters, isn't it? So yeah, I do really hope we win tomorrow. And of course, I will be going to the game right one side. So of uh, course, we'll be recording the match. So uh, make sure to check out my vlog when it does come out after the match, and also. Turn on post notifications on. Make sure you don't miss the video because she'll be about it, even if we do lose. But I'm hoping we don't, obviously. So, yeah, hope we, uh, yeah, so of course, hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. You can also uh, comment down your score predictions below. And also, don't forget to watch my vlog of this game, she'll be about it. So, yeah, come on, your blues, come on, city, let's bounce back in style. Come on.